Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I want to show you how to replace your condenser on this Nissan cash car. This one is a 2014 Reg. First what we're going to do is literally just recover all the gas out of the system. As you can see from this video, we're now recovering the gas. Then we're literally going to take these little plastic screws out on all of these and then there's some clips underneath here to remove this screw. Literally, as you can see, literally just turn it, no pop up. Then you can literally just literally just pop them up like so. And it should literally just pop out. Get a little tug. Try not to break them. You can see. Now we're just going to remove these Phillips screws. You can see all of them. Just to get this cover out so we can get access to disconnect it underneath there. As you can see, now I can literally just pop this out. That's what I'm talking about. Then we can gain access to removing this and that. And take this, and then we'll be able to take off all these clips, remove this off. You can see, there's some more there. There's another one down there somewhere. So literally as you can see, literally you just pull it. As you can see there's a clip there. There's a clip there. And you see there's other clips down there. And then the whole thing just comes off. Now I'm just gonna remove that one, that one, that one. Possibly that one and that one, so we can get access. So literally, as you can see now, so we're just going to pop this out away. Just tilt that back. And as you can see, it's quite straightforward. Just take that 10 mil bolt down there. There should be another one all the way down there as well. You see this little clip here? Just push that in, and it's the same down there. And then you just pull it. You're going to pull this condenser forward. So it's going to come forward and then we're going to just pull it upwards. Everything you can see, it's been loosened, so we're just going to take it off our hand. And that pipe should literally just come off. Gently. Like so. See this little clip I'm talking about that you're going to push in and pull this forward. As you can see, just need a small ratchet down here. So you literally got to push this clip in and then get something to prise this forward. Just like down the bottom there as well, it's the same thing. See that's now out. Just need to detach it from there, so we're gonna pull it forwards. I'm gonna pull it this way. There we go. Now it's off. Now we're gonna take it out. Turn it around. Not so. Oh, 
long haul. Just remember to remove, replace the O-rings, as you can see. Both of them have got O-rings on them. You need to replace them, including that one down there. As you can see, new seals fitted. So we're gonna put the new condenser in now. So the way to get it in first is this way down and then turn it around. As you can see, it's back in now, but as you can see on that side, we need to slot that side in first. So that side needs to be slotted in and then this side will fit perfectly in place. So we're gonna put that side in first. As you can see, I'll just show you the slots that it slots into. As you can see these little slots here and there's one down there. You literally just push it in like so and now literally as you can see once it's all on it just push it in you can see and that's it now we're going to connect those pipes back on you can see just connecting up those pipes now that one down there then we're going to do this one as you can see the new condenser it comes with this little plastic thing to stop like stuff falling inside of it I just say, yeah, you slow it on this city. Just make sure it's lined up flush. And then just slot it in there like that, as you can see. And then we're going to put the 10 mil bolt in there and tighten that up. As you can see, all the other bits have been connected and slotted in perfectly. As you can see, this is the old one. And we've got a brand swanking one back in there. As you can see, also just put these little um, plastic clips back here. It's got to be all of them. Just going to regas it now. As you can see, it's all connected. Just to make sure there's no leaks before I actually put that sort of front grill back on. Okay, now we're going to fit this cover back on. As you can see, front grill. As you can see, those are the clips I'm talking about. As you can see, they line up. Those holes there, and there, and there, and also up there as well. Literally just clips in, and you just got to plug the sensor back in, as you can see, with that wire. Go ahead and do that. So, literally, as you can see, you just line up where all the holes are and just give it a nice little push. You can hear it clicking into place. As you can see, it's all secure now. Then we've just got to put this one here back on and literally just slides underneath. You can see, literally just slide it back underneath, line the holes up, you can see, and then put the screws back in and there's rubber. First thing going to do is put these plastic clips on, make sure it's lined up. Quite straightforward. See, there's four of them. Let's see, just put these screws in. Just catch them. Or hand first. As you can see. You can move this around a bit as well if you need to line the holes up properly or lift it up. You can see, just tighten them up now. Would use a drill, but tighten them up. One of those battery powered guns, one of this plastic, it's going to get on hand tight manual screwdriver
see, it's all back together now. As you can see, now replaced everything, now back in the vehicle. Just gonna check, make sure this AC is blowing nice and cold. see it's all nice and cold ice cold so things all working i've checked there's no leaks thank you and thank you for watching gab official please like share and subscribe for further content on my channel because this will help me out